Hi, this is Shanti here at Keller Yoga, and I'm going to show you how to do a sun salutation variation against the wall. So if you have a hard time coming up and down off the wall, off the floor due to knee, hip, back, foot, ankle injuries, um, you'll be able to do the full sun salutation against the wall for increased stability and actually some power. There's a strengthening aspect to doing the sun salutations against the wall that you feel very differently than when you're doing them on the floor. This particular variation is what I did after I had spine surgery and was unable to push my body weight off the floor. So I, I worked on sun salutations against the wall like I'm about to show you to cultivate and gain the strength so that now I can do a full sun salutation on the floor. So here we go. First of all, we're gonna to come to the wall and bring your feet hip width distance. And hip width distance means two fists. So you take two fists right in between your feet and that's how far apart your feet should be to create the most stability in your legs and in your hips. Face the wall. And we begin by bringing your hands to the heart. Press your palms together, scoop your pelvis under, and lift up on your toes so you feel strength and pressing downward with your feet and lifting up to the top of your head. I'm gonna scoop away just a little bit more. On an inhale, reach your arms up and look up. Press your palms the whole way. And exhale, bring your hands to the wall and step your feet back, let your torso drop, and stretch your armpits and your arms, your hamstrings, and the back of your legs. On an inhale, we'll step the right foot forward, bringing your toes to the wall, and come to the ball of your left foot. Bend the right knee, so it's right over the ankle, and then bring your hands down, so they're right underneath the shoulders, and press the wall away from you. So you're actively pressing the wall. Now scoop the pelvis under, engage your left glute, and press out through the heel. So it's a very strong stance. And take a deep breath in. Step your right foot back and your left foot forward so they're right underneath you. Bring your hands up. Press your hands into the wall as if you're gonna lift the wall up, but your hands don't actually move. Scoop the pelvis under again, engage your core, and press out through the heels of your feet. So it's a very strong stance. Your arms are straight. Look forward. Now walk your hands one hand print down. Take a deep breath in on an exhale. Bend the elbows down as you lower your forehead to the wall. Now with this, the hand placement looks like this. You're up here. You're gonna bring your hands one hand print down. And then when you bend forward, bending the elbows, your elbows aren't coming out to the side. You want your elbows coming down towards the floor. So they, they're reaching in, they're squeezing into the sides of your body like this, okay? So we're here, you scoop the pelvis, everything's nice and tight, walk your hands one hand print down. And then bend the elbows down towards the floor, pressing into the wall the whole time. Bring your forehead to the wall. Now step your feet forward toward the wall, press your body against the wall, draw your shoulders down, and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your head as you press your belly to the, to the wall. Then step your feet back, let your torso hang. This time we're gonna actively press into our hands and our heels, pushing the wall and the floor away. Then inhale, bring your left foot forward towards the wall, bend your left knee, and come to the ball of your right foot. Straighten the leg, press up through the heel, squeeze your glutes, and then take your hands, press your hands away from the wall. Press your torso away from the wall. Deep breath, then step your foot back, hinge forward, step your feet forward, inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, lower down. All right, 
So that's the full sun salutation against the wall. I'll move through it once more um, in, uh, without stopping so you can kind of see the flow of it, all right? Stand in the wall, lift your toes, engage your inner thighs, scoop your pelvis under, lift your heart and bring your hands to your heart in prayer position. Take a deep breath in, reach up and look up. Exhale, bring your hands to the wall, step your feet back, hinge forward. Inhale, step your left foot forward, bend your left knee, step your right foot back to the ball of your feet and press your arms into the wall. Engage your right glute. Take a deep breath in. Step your right foot forward and your left foot back. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press your hands into the wall as if you're lifting the wall up. Press into your heels and scoop your pelvis to engage your core. You'll feel very strong emphasis in the shoulders and in the lats and in the arms. From here, take your hands, one hand print down. Bend the elbows down towards the floor as you lower your forehead to the wall. Inhale, step your feet forward. Press your body into the wall. Squeeze the shoulder blades and elbows together and lift the heart. Deep breath, look up. Exhale, step back. Actively press into the wall and your heels. And take a deep breath in. Step your right foot forward, toes to the wall. Bend your right knee right over your right ankle. Come to the ball of your back foot. Press up through the heel and squeeze your left glute. Press your hands into the wall. Deep breath, strong activation. Then step your right foot back. Breathing the air out. Inhale, step forward, sweep your arms up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. I hope this was helpful. Something that you can practice and try on your own to cultivate strength and stability in your body. You'll feel alive, more invigorated. And one of the things I really enjoy the most about this particular variation against the wall is that I feel a strong um, emphasis in my back. So I leave with stronger back muscles. And when my back is stronger, it allows me to stand more upright when I'm standing more upright, I have more space in my torso and my lungs for a deeper breath. When my breath is deeper, my mind and my nervous system are calmer. And that's how your whole body works together. This is why we work on lifting, lengthening, and strengthening our core. Simply so our breath can be deeper and smoother. So that it activates our nervous system in a way that allows our mind to be calm. So enjoy, practice. If you have any questions, email me at kelleryoga at gmail.com. Comment on Facebook at Facebook backslash Keller Yoga. Or call me at the Keller Yoga line at 817-591-1702. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you'll uh, join us for our 10-day Healthier You Challenge, where we'll do 10 sun salutations every day for 10 days. All right, take care. We'll see you soon.